Hey guys, it's Chris here from the Ultimate Recycler. I'm uh, I'm in front of the camera this time. I've just made myself a coffee, and I thought I'd have a chat to you about my channel, where it's come from, what I've been up to, where it's going, and uh, basically just have a quick update. So go and make yourself a cuppa, and uh, we'll have a bit of a chat. Go on, I can wait. Okay, you're back. Right. So my channel started as a way of just sharing my experiences, uh, being a mechanic for a long time, uh, running a secondhand business, being environmentally conscious. Um, I wanted to do a few worm tests. I was just experimenting with worms and I thought, well, I could share some of this on YouTube, see how it goes. Um, I didn't know if it was gonna last or not. And uh, look, it's, it's built up really well. It was slow at the start. And I think if you jump into YouTube with the idea of making money out of it I think you've probably got the wrong mindset because a lot of people start and fizzle out now if you're going to have a channel you do need to have a topic where you're going to have constant ideas uh, a channel that can develop sure you might go down a few different tangents but I think the, the guys that that don't have the success have too narrow a field and you rapidly run out of, of content ideas so with my channel of using the the umbrella of recycling and that touches on a lot of things that i like to do i like to fix things i have a secondhand business for those of you that don't know i'm out the back of the shop at the moment um, there's a lot of scrap here i take e-waste uh, if you're new to my channel um, have a look at my playlists i uh, i touch on a lot of areas but the whole underlying feel is just trying to keep stuff out of landfill there's too much go to the tip these days a lot of it's perfectly good <clears throat> a lot of it i fix and resell but there's a lot of stuff that can be you know eaten by worms for example or um or you know given away i have to happen to make a living out of basically selling stuff that other people don't want so that's the premise of my channel and it was very slow at the start but it did i just kept ticking it over and lately well, over the last 12 months, I've been putting out a video twice a week, every Thursday and every Sunday. Uh, I don't know how long I can keep that up, but uh, it's going pretty well at the moment, and I just keep getting more ideas. I uh, Certainly with my shop, I've got a, almost an unending amount of, of pickers videos I can do. Uh, I know some of you like the valuation videos. Um, I aim to do a lot more repair work. I've got a workshop set up at home now that's that's almost how I like it. It needs a bit more work. So there's lots of potential there. Um, I did a bit of a series on antique bottles and I do intend on touching back on that. Um, but I've had a lot of people join my channel for one of those areas. Uh, and then they've, had, they've commented and said, look, I came for the antique bottles, but I've stayed for the other content as well. So that's great to hear and I appreciate your feedback. So this video is really just to touch base with where I'm going. And uh, look, it's, I don't know. Who knows what's gonna happen the next day? I have certainly ideas and I have a, a notepad of, you know, people giving me ideas where you do a worm test on something bizarre or, or they liked my last trip to the scrapyard, so please do more of them. So keep giving me the feedback because that shapes the direction of my channel. So that's all appreciated. And just while we're on the subject of feedback, and I'm drifting a bit off here, but, um, and I'll touch on that too in a minute. But with feedback, it's really appreciated. Um, look, a thumbs up, a comment, even if you just say hi. Uh, all the activity on my channel does help promote it. It does help with YouTube's algorithm. Uh, so the more you can comment and interact, the better. I am trying to put um, something on the community tab every so often, just a photo or something that's coming up and uh, I get a bit of feedback there, which is great. So the guys that comment and there's been a few regular commenters over the years and, and a few um, I don't know who does a thumbs up but sometimes I'll put a video up and within 30 seconds there's two or three thumbs up and now that's great it's interaction if you don't get to watch the video or you don't like it well maybe you can change it to a thumbs down but again it's all activity and that's appreciated so where was I going um, the channel is developing really nicely um, I appreciate the interaction. I appreciate all the new subscribers. The channel's really started to grow quickly later, uh, more recently. Um, and I wanted to touch base with you 
in this video to help teach myself to be more uh, to be less scripted uh, a lot of my videos particularly the early ones were a little bit robotic uh, and it takes a while to get used to talking to a camera and I think the channels that do really well these days are ones where people's personalities show through and I know the guys that I follow you kind of get to know them um, almost like a mate that you haven't actually met yet and I think it's good to get to know someone because it makes their their YouTube videos or their lessons or whatever they're doing on their channel more believable so uh, that's why I thought I'd do this video and just touch base with a bit of more personal non-scripted chatter uh, I did make a few notes um, so where's my channel going uh, look I aim to build it up long term I don't know if it'll ever get big enough to live off I do make a little bit out of it at the moment uh, I'm gonna stick with it I am a little bit stubborn in my ways when I try and do something I you know sometimes I'll flog a dead horse as the saying goes but I believe if you do stick at something eventually things work out or you have modified to something that does work out so I'm certainly not one to give up easily and we'll continue the channel and I'll continue pumping videos out guided by your comments and hopefully it becomes something quite big and and successful but that's not my aim my aim is really to just help people to teach them and if people can pick up something out of my videos whether it's you know, whatever they pick up but if it keeps stuff out of landfill it's got to help our planet and really that's that's probably my ultimate game my ultimate aim so I must thank Christine for helping me out. Um, she comes on some of my trips. She does a bit of filming. She's occasionally throwing in a few comments. I would certainly wouldn't mind if she had a bit more uh, input into my videos. She does run her own channel. And uh, if you want to see what Christine's up to, she has a channel called Christine's Home Affairs. I will put the link underneath. And she does a lot of stuff at home with um, low carb cooking, uh, sewing projects and a bit of gardening stuff. So her umbrella is relatively broad as well and she can throw all sorts of videos under there and she's picking up a bit of a following following but the channel's still pretty new so pop over to her channel and have a look you might be interested and uh, maybe subscribe and help her numbers along uh also must th thank coco our little boxer puppy she's um she's growing quickly and becoming more mischievous and featuring in more of my videos sometimes more than i'd like so she's uh, at this stage a co-star i guess you'd call her so that's all fun and we've had some great comments so look if i can make my channel interesting educational and enjoyable to watch then i've got to be happy with that uh, my playlists um, i've touched on a few of the things i do uh, but i've got a, a series on cleaning up my backyard which uh, interestingly i'm up to part 10 the next one will be part 10 and the yard is a long way off being cleaned so that playlist alone will provide plenty of content i hope you find it inter interesting i sometimes start a part on it and not know where it's going to end so it keeps me a bit interested as well and eventually i'll get this place more organized that's what they all say hey uh the antique bottles i've touched on uh scrapping uh the youtube scrapping community is quite quite big and, and a bit like a family i find that there's a lot of scrappers that support each other and all comment underneath and they have live feeds and they do premieres and, and I think that's great and I've tapped into that a little bit uh, whilst my channel isn't purely a scrapping channel I have had a few of the guys join up and I appreciate that um, and I will regularly uh, put on scrapping videos whether it's e-waste scrapping or whether it's taking a load of steel to the scrapyard or something along those lines but it certainly fits under the umbrella of recycling so that playlist will continue to build uh, my repair playlist um, I've had a lot of experience at all sorts of repairs I grew up on a farm we did our own work there I've done a bit of building I've done mechanics I was a mechanic for a long time uh, I'll certainly be doing some more videos on repairing small engines because that was my trade but I'm getting into electronics I'd like to get into more vintage electronics like valve radios I've got a basic knowledge across a broad range so it's the old jack of all trades master of none but I don't know can anyone be master of all trades that's probably pushing it but um, I know a little bit of, uh, across a broad range and what I don't know I'll teach myself so sometimes I'll do a video on something 
and it might be a while between the first part and the second part because basically I've got to learn how to do it. Um, and the advantage of that is that it does help me show you guys who may be beginners how to do it because it's still fresh in my mind having to learn it. So hopefully that helps a bit. Uh, upcycling, well I've built things out of pellets. I, I have done a few upcycling projects. Sometimes a video will just simply show something that I found that someone had upcycled years ago and it's look it's one of the one of the R's isn't it repurposing it comes under that whole recycling bracket so I'll continue to throw a few videos along those lines uh, the worms well I'm going to always be doing worm tests and composting tests and I have a lot of plans for those and I'll sprinkle those videos in amongst the other ones I do know some of my subscribers have joined to look at you know the repairs or the scrapping but aren't at all interested in the worm videos and that's perfectly fine you don't have to watch them all uh, but who knows you might develop a, an interest in worms <laughs> maybe um, second end dealing well that's my trade I will be taking my camera on a lot of picks um, it's a valuation service if you like and, and along those those lines even with the bottles I do have a uh, Facebook page called the ultimate recycler so feel free to look that up and I'm happy to value stuff if you want to put photos on there particularly bottles because it's very hard to describe a bottle whereas a photo you know I can pretty well work out and if I don't know it I, I have plenty of contacts that I can find out for you so feel free to hop, hop along to my Facebook page as well uh, now the only other thing I wanted to mention in this video I don't want to talk for too long is the merchandise and I'm an affiliate Amazon affiliate now uh, I wanted to add a little bit to my channel um, just to help with some of the costs and to help support the channel I didn't want to go down the patreon um, path and, and ask for donations uh, I know I've seen a couple with uh, buy me a coffee which is a great idea um, my channel is probably not big enough to to really get much out of that but again it's asking for donations so I decided to go with the Amazon affiliate um, program where I will put links under certain videos and if you look at my about page I have a link to my Amazon storefront and I haven't got much on there yet but I will be adding links to various products that I use tools equipment uh, or supplies um, so that would be great if you wanted to buy something or even if you wanted to buy something totally different if you go to Amazon through my link it will I think it's called a sticky cookie and if you buy something within 24 hours of, of going to Amazon through my link I actually get a very small commission and it doesn't cost you anything extra at all so it look it's not going to add up to very much at all in fact I think I've got a total of about 75 cents and uh, they don't send a check out from US until I get to 100 US dollars so it's not a big money spinner but it's just a way of showing a little bit of support and as my channel grows perhaps it might amount to something uh, I'm going to do some merchandise I'm going to get some stickers done uh, there's a, a website I've been looking at that does t-shirts uh, coffee cups uh, we'll get some ultimate recycler uh, merchandise out there and again if you buy something like that that'll support my channel as well so uh, and I may use some of it as prizes if I have a bit of a comp or something like that so that's about where we're at with my channel. I don't think I've forgotten anything at this stage. I'll do another update down the track. Uh, I wanted to get used to talking one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, again, I think the personality thing helps and, and having someone sit there and chat to you uh, rather than something scripted uh, gives you something to connect with. So thanks for watching. Uh, I'm not really one to do call-outs, but I'm going to mention a couple. Uh, there's a couple of scrappers that have supported me for quite a while and they nearly always comment on my videos which gives me some good activity and one of them is a guy in the states uh, street copper 11 or though maybe it's street copper 2 i've never actually asked him but um seth's a great guy he does some really interesting uh copper and aluminium castings i think he's done brass as well uh, and i'd never seen the lost foam casting before i know other people do it but I found it quite interesting. So he's a great guy and he really supports me. So uh, have a look at his channel. I think he's just ticked over a thousand subscribers. So he's doing pretty well there. And uh, another guy in Melbourne, uh, more local to me, is Scrapping with Kids. Uh, and he, he does a bit of e-waste scrapping and uh, runs a few things to the scrapyards and has his kids with him. And he's uh, it's, it's 
the scrap yourselves is supports his kids and I think it's a great way to, to build memories with your kids and you know build up a bit of a bank for them as well and he's a nice guy so thanks you two for my support or supporting my channel um, I always make sure I watch their videos uh, and there's heaps of other regulars I won't start mentioning names because I'll leave them out but um, I will just mention one other with repairs if you're interested in valve radio repairs have a look at David Tipton's channel um, that guy's a master he's um, he's I won't call him fussy, but he's very particular with his work and a uh, yeah, very interesting channel and I've learned a lot just on all sorts of things, even repairing the radio cabinets. So I'll put links for these three guys underneath. Um, so yeah, I appreciate their support. I like watching their channels. Hopefully you like watching my channel. Look out for my next video. We'll see you soon. Bye.